What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Bike Hub. So today I'm on a bit of a photography mission. First thing is I've borrowed an SLR and I want to get out there and get some practice, learn how to take better photos. The second thing is I've got a lot of kit now, a lot of camera equipment and as I'm planning a lot of trips on the bike this year I need to get all my kit down to something small, light and manageable. Alright guys, so in the past few years of making videos I've amassed a huge collection of equipment whether it's drones or GoPros or camcorders or other sorts of cameras and sound recording equipment, pretty much I've got it. Now, I need to figure out how to get all the stuff that I need and all the stuff that I want and all the stuff that is good enough quality to make you know, high quality content for YouTube. I need to get it all small enough and compact enough that it'll fit either inside my rucksack or inside a tank bag or inside a seat pack on the back of my bike. So my priorities are lightweight, size, and how quick and easily you can get good shots. So when, it's, when it comes to things like DJI Ronin gimbals, I've actually got one on loan at the minute, but it's quite cumbersome and it takes a long time to set it up. You have to put the camera on and you have to slide things around this way, this way, this way to balance the camera. Then obviously once you've got the camera on, you've got to choose, oh, have I got the right lens? Have I got the settings dialed in? There's all these things to consider when you need something that's quick and small and portable. Now this is my DJI Osmo, which is a great camera. It has some drawbacks, but I, this is kind of like my go-to camera at the minute. But today it's all about this SLR that I've got in front of me. So I'm going to go and take some pictures at an abandoned, well not an abandoned, a decommissioned power station called Fiddler's Ferry. Uh, play with the camera, play with the drone, play with some, some of my other equipment. So if you want to come along with me, let's go. All right, so I've made it down this little path here and through a hole in the fence. I'm not quite sure what caused this fence to fall down, but it's a heavy old thing and it's also uprooted, uprooted a tree there as well. So that's pretty mad. The other thing that's kind of worrying is the color of this water. Is this the UK's own Chernobyl? I doubt it, but... You never know. Right, so over there, behind those trees, let's see if it will uh, expose properly. That is the cooling towers for the power plant. So, what I'm planning on doing is getting a, as close as I can, uh, get some cool photos, and also try and get the drone in the air and get some drone shots of this place, which is called Fiddler's Ferry. So, onwards. Now, not surprisingly, it does have a kind of a weird, abandoned, kind of spooky vibe to it. So I'm gonna show you some of the shots that I got while I'm just walking along this disused, don't know what it is. I would call it a road, but it's like a 10 foot wide piece of concrete road that runs all the way around to the facility. So don't know what they used it for, but anyway, here's some cool cinematic shots I managed to get. All right, so I've stopped by the railway, the railway lines to try and uh, get a bit of practice with this camera that I'm videoing from now. So I've borrowed my cousin's EOS 700D. Um, don't really want to use it for video, but I thought I'd just give it a quick test today. So I'm gonna have a play with the video settings and then get on with just trying to snap some cool pictures of the surrounding area. So let's have a look at some photos.
All right guys, so I've had a bit of practice with the camera today and it was good fun. Um, as you can see, the sun is setting in the background there, but I had nothing but technology fails. So this camera, I was having fun taking lots of pictures and then all of a sudden it decided that the battery was gonna die. Then I got the drone up in the air. It got about as far as the first um, exhaust or tunnel or whatever you wanna call it for the power station. Then the signal went and it did the automatic return to home. When it came back, the battery was flat, put a new battery in. The new battery that I charged last night was also flat. So lots of technology dramas. But overall, I did have, did have fun and I have learned quite a lot about cameras now. So I was playing around with the f-stop and um, changing the shutter speed and ISO on every single shot. It was quite interesting because I could just be stood here where the camera is. Let's turn the gimbal around. Turn around. So I could just be stood here um, taking a photo of that tree or whatever. Then all I do is move there and then again all of the settings need to be changed. So it was quite a steep learning curve but it was it was good. So big thanks to my cousin for lending me this camera. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna start getting into photography a bit better and maybe spend a bit more time editing my video. So I hope you liked the video. Um, I know it's a bit of a short and sweet one, but the bike will be done soon. Um, I'll do an update on how, how the progress is going on the bike. But yeah, until then, see you next time. Peace.